I think one of the big misconceptions about El Paso is our proximity to the border. People think that there's danger, uh, that it's unstable, when the reality is that El Paso is consistently one of the safest, larger cities in the country. El Paso is a unique environment for public safety. We share an international border with Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. It, it can get pretty complicated. Uh, we have our own uh, crimes here and things that we need to deal with, but another unique facet is that we deal with transnational crime. I think the El Paso story is worth sharing because it, it really highlights the importance of collaboration between organizations. You know, the overall mission is public safety. You, you have to be all in on that. And, and here in El Paso, the fire department is all in, the police department is all in, uh, airport is all in. When we started our drone program about six years ago, we started off with one drone. We were using it uh, solely for PD functions and nobody else in the city had a program. So we started getting a lot of requests for us to uh, assist the other agencies as well as uh, other city departments. As we started talking even more, we said this needs to be for all public safety. So uh, fire department started up a drone unit. They didn't have the manpower, the resources, or the experience. So everybody just started cross-training and working with each other and realizing that firemen and policemen show up to the same calls about 85% of the time. So it, it just made sense that we all share the network and that we all work together. Now the coordination between the police department, fire, and, and, and the airport helps us combine resources, eliminate the duplication of effort, uh, and, and it makes it more cost effective. It's a better use of the, the citizens' tax dollars. El Paso, even with our downtown area, we're, we're spread out almost 40 miles. We have a huge area of responsibility and we knew we need to find a system that can cover everything. And that's when we started exploring the DOC program. Here in El Paso, we have a complex airspace system. So we're class C airspace and there's also military installations, so they have their class restrictions and we're along the border. Obviously we at the airport value the importance of UAS training and UAS procedures and techniques. So the airport took the lead on the waivers, you know, making sure that we're compliant with those. For training pilots, we have this technology in place. So we started with, with that groundwork and then we uh, built out from getting a couple of docks to expanding it because there are waivers written for the whole city, not just for the airport or for PD or for fire. As that expansion happened, we went from one you know, unit that we would deploy manually to two, to three, to four, and so forth. Funding became available, and we instantly bought the next 16, which put us at 22 docks. You know, the operational gaps that we're looking to close using drones, speed of situational awareness, um, and, and being able to get that perspective down to our first responders on the rigs as they're coming into the scene. So traditionally, when we would get a drone call out and we would be deploying to the scene manually, um, if we're not in the office, let's say it's an after hours call, you're looking about 45 minutes to an hour compared to with the implementation of the dock system. When that initial call comes out, if we needed to, we can open up the laptop from the house, get that drone up in the air, get eyes on, and already be flying while someone is on their way to the office. So take an hour to minutes. With DJI Docs using on-premise with Flight Hub 2, we have created a secure network that helps us keep the city secure and safe throughout our agencies throughout the city of El Paso. We do use AWS Government Cloud, and we understand how secure that is. Technicalis has helped us to deploy the on-prem solution to Flight Hub 2, which gives us the ability to manage our uh, data security with more control and allows us to adapt to the continuing changes in information security. Having our systems on-premise uh, gives us advantage to really control every dimension of internal and external transmission. We need more control, we need more autonomy, and we need to have the ability to scale at, at any time while also giving our pilots the application that they need with the embedded features uh, to, to do the job that they have. So Flight Hub 2 is very intuitive. One person is able to control the aircraft and could hand off the camera stuff to another person. So one person can focus on flying the aircraft, or the other one could be focused on getting data. DGI's platform has helped us achieve a unified mission across El Paso. 
communication is continuous and constant between fire, PD, and the airport. We have missions that we do jointly. A good example of this would be a couple weeks ago in Atlanta, we were waiting at the airport and one of our PD officers was flying a mission downtown and he needed an electronic observer. We're able to fulfill that for him while he flew his mission here in El Paso. Now that we've proven the concept with emergency response, we're excited to see how we can expand drone operations to assist us, not only the fire department, but other city departments. You know, one of them is roof inspections and building inspections. If we can utilize these drones to get up and give them an aerial perspective, you know, it, it'll cut their times in half. Also flash flooding assessments while it's happening and seeing uh, how that water's flowing through from an aerial perspective is huge to help our public works to be able to mitigate some of the, the damages that are, occur. And then the search and rescue uh, component, you know, that's huge here in El Paso and we're always having people up in the mountains. So being able to maybe do some pre-planning for our, for our citizens and show them, you know, be better aerial maps and where it's safe to hike and where they can get in and out of those areas more safely.